Today's lesson is Unit 1, Lesson B, Converting Units. Your objective is going to be I can recognize the appropriate ways to convert from one unit to another. Some steps to consider when converting units. 1. Identify which units you are working with. 2. Divide within your units. And then 3. Always make sure that your answer makes sense. You can't have a half a person in your answer, so then more than likely you're going to have to be rounding up. Carefully read and answer each of the questions below. The first one we're going to look at is example 1. Kara's baking cookies for her co-workers. The recipe calls for three eggs and she needs to make five batches. How many dozens of eggs does she need to buy in order to make her cookies? First, we're going to have to find out the total, let me get a pen here, the total number of eggs that we're going to need. So I'm going to write total eggs. So we know that the recipe calls for three eggs and she's going to be making five batches. So we're going to want to take three and multiply that by five. Her total eggs will be 15 eggs. Now the second part says how many dozens of eggs does she need to buy in order to make the cookies? Well, I know one dozen equals 12. So if I divide 15 by 12, I will get 1.25. Now I don't really know what this one or this 0.25 is. So if I go, if I do 15 and I subtract 12, I'll get three left over. So I know that I need one dozen. And I'll have three extra eggs. So in order to cover for these eggs, I'm going to have to buy two dozen eggs. Because if I buy one dozen, that wouldn't be enough to make all of the cookies. So I'm going to have to buy two dozen eggs in order to make all the cookies. I'm going to put a box around this so I know exactly where my answer is. We're going to skip over the U try. You'll be doing that later on. Here's our example two. Johnny is 52 inches tall. He must be four and a half feet tall to go down the water slide. Questions that we'll be answering are, is Johnny tall enough to go down the water slide? And how tall is Johnny in feet? Okay, so I need to find out if Johnny is tall enough. So if he's 52 inches, but I know you have to be four and a half feet tall to go down. If we think of feet, we know that they're in one foot, that is 12 inches. So you have to be four feet and half of 12 would be 6 inches, just so we know. That would be the half part. Um, so we're going to go ahead and convert 52 inches into feet to see if he'll be tall enough. So in order to do that, I'm going to take 52. I'm going to divide that by 12. And 52 divided by 12 will give me 4.3 repeating. I need to figure out what this 0.3 repeating is. So if I do 4 times 12, go ahead and do that. You should get 48. <clears throat> so we're talking about inches here. So I have 48 inches. And if I do 52, and I'm going to subtract the ones I already used, so 48. I will have how many left over? Four. So, Johnny is four feet, four inches tall. Therefore, he would not be tall enough to go down the water slide because we need to have four feet, six inches. Second question asks, how tall is Johnny in feet? Well, we already answered that, so 4 feet, 4 inches, and then the answer up here would be no. Okay. Let's go ahead on to example 3. There are 248 campers at summer camp this year and 22 counselors. Every counselor is in charge of four campers. Is the ratio correct to justify your answer. All right, so we're going to look here. We know that there are, like we said, 248 campers and 22 counselors. Okay, each counselor is in charge of four campers, so we're going to go ahead and multiply 22 
times 4, and that will give us 88. Now, 88 would be the total number of campers, and that is incorrect because we need to cover 248 campers. So it says justify your answer. We can say it would only cover 40, I'm sorry, 88 of the campers, and there'd be a lot left over. To go ahead and check that, if you want, we can go ahead and do, let's do 248 campers, and let's divide that by 22. Go ahead and do that right now. When you divide 248 by 22, you get 11.27, which would mean each counselor would be in charge of between 11 and 12 kids each. Again, like we said earlier, you can't have a portion of a kid or a person, so we have to say, if we wanted to say why or what have you, we would say each counselor would be in charge of about 11 to 12 kids. Don't forget to go to the bottom and answer all of your questions. After watching this video, what can you do? What do you not know how to do? And some things that you can do to help yourself.